custom crew battles most of the time and we obviously have our own events we have we are a tournament server so we do run a lot of events we don't have one this weekend we usually do have one every sunday but th not this week this week you know it's evil weekend people are on vacation and stuff you know how it'd be my favorite move is the spirit bomb yo it definitely is like my favorite too the spirit bomb yo definitely <laughs> is hype op edge guard yo it's ridiculous i see i i mean whatever videos i did watch like parappa you guys know parappa yo man Hey, the warm-up. If you like the overlay, bro, we got better overlays, man. You should come see us on uh you should catch us on like a uh on a Sunday for our tournament overlays. This is just like the our tournament one, but like just different color. But anyways, guys, enough of that. We are actually gonna be heading into the first battle of this crew battle. We got GG Georgia with the Zelda up against Dark Falcon with this cloud. So this is gonna be the first cloud we've seen it already right here, but this is gonna be two Omega players going off right here every stock is going to be super duper important remember it is a 5v5 we got 15 stocks per team so right there we're going to see who's going to be able to get the first strong start to get this going george did have to anchor the last match but this time around did request to be the one to start it off and hopefully hopefully trying to open up with a very strong opening for his team all right, we got Dark Falcon right here, trying to get as much pressure right there off that off that platform. Did not work, and George caught him with that very nice up B with another Phantom Armor, and he sees that up B coming right there to recover, but no, unfortunately missed as Dark Falcon had to go ahead and use his limit up B to make it back onto the stage. Side B for days causing a lot of problems. Both shielding right there. Neutral does get the grab this time around. And not going for the down throw this time around. Ooh, but Phantom's gonna connect super nice. That spiked sword right there, the tip. Did it go ahead and get Dark Falcon? George is going to be claiming the first stock of this battle. Let me just go and update that for you guys. All right, you got GG George doing a fantastic job there of edge guarding right here, trying to make sure to keep this teammate away. And we got two stocks down right now. Two stocks right here. So we got ourselves a 15 13 lead at the moment. Still 96%, though. It's going to be a little bit he hectic right now. Gets that read on there on the jump. And another forward smash. George is really trying to carry it up. But there you go. Dark Falcon finally going to be able to get some kind of footing going right here. Oh, trying to go for that nicer. And he gets the opening. And he actually gets a tree stock to start this off. Oh, my God. We got the subs in the chat. You guys know what to do. You guys know right now what to post up. There you go. The trees are coming out and GG George is going to start this one super strong right now. What a turn of events. Uh, how it started on the last crew battle right here. GG George is off to a super strong start. Three stock lead right here to take it so far. Damn, man. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. I forgot about that. You guys also got the, the GG no re emote. <laughs> The GG Nori emo coming in there. So, I mean, we're going to see how many stocks George is going to be able to take. He dis off super strong right here with those three right off the bat. That is very impressive stuff. So, now they have to find a way to counter pick. I mean, it's going to be their discussion. So, I don't know what's going to be happening right here. I mean, there needs to be some kind of response. Oh, man. Like... Yo, I love I love all the emotes popping up right now. That's some crazy stuff, guys. <laughs> really good stuff there. Really good st strong start from GG George right now. <laughs> Sight Jam, what's up, homie? Hey, you know what? I just realized you're you're you oh yeah, you're SA Jam, Sait Jam. I remember what's going on, man. I know you guys had a mock crew battle where you guys succeeded and won. I think Shiny Pika was like our MVP of that crew battle. Hopefully sometime they're going to be, you know, a rematch between the two teams. Um, but, you know, I know that there were some net concerns. Hopefully next time it won't be the issue. <laughs> this chat's going off because those are our emotes, man. So, uh, if you, in case you missed it, uh, S8Jam or Jam, I don't know how to say your name. Um, yeah, George just got a ridiculous three stock. And obviously every time there's a three stock here on the stream, it is a tree stock for us. So hence the emote, homie. Man, what a crazy start, dude. Crazy start. <laughs> that is insane stuff, man.
So I have to say that I think, you know, it could be, obviously, you have to also consider the fact Dark Falcon, unfortunately, he was kind of like running late and stuff like that. It could have been definitely a factor that he did not get to warm up or anything. He had to just simply come in right away and get straight into the action. So it is a bit of a, a bummer for him and his team that he didn't have the opportunity to warm up. And, uh, you know, a lot of times George is just doing such a great job at edge guarding right there. Just constantly applying the pressure, not allowing him to get onto the stage for free. The only time Dark Falcon had a very easy time to get back on was the time he had to waste his limit and waste his upbeat, get back onto neutral. But don't forget, I am I have um, been taught today that they do have Sebai, who is a super duper strong game, Mr. Game Watch. He actually beat Dusty Carpet on Sunday. So that is no joke of a player and a character. So you know he's going to definitely be one of those anchors who are going to be coming in. Uh, but looks like we're going to be getting a, their next person in here. Let's go. Toras coming in. And he's going to be picking Town and City up against GG uh, George Zelda. So right here, George has the very, very strong opportunity to not only just get the lead, but maybe even win this match and claim six stocks to start off th this crew battle. <laughs> oh man don't tell me this is a sonic i mean come on dude what sonic player have you ever seen that does not rock that as their pfp if i see that blue head come in man i know immediately what i'm in for <laughs> nobody there's a lot of people don't like sonic but see that's what's great about having a sonic on your crew hey i mean we have we have a, we have a secret weapon too right we have somebody people hate too right so everybody's gotta have those kind of things <laughs> do you actually oh yeah you do you got that golden uh the golden one forgot about that uh, why do you even have that actually now that i think about it okay we're gonna get straight into the second match homies it's gonna be zelda and sonic this is gonna be a very weird matchup i'm sure for either player but considering that the counter pick here is at town and city from Torres, you know what he's going to look for, man. He's going to be trying to find a way to, you know, have the room to just move around and be as annoying as much as possible. Town and city is a very big stage with a lot of room to just maneuver for days. Already, George, trying to find an answer to this, seeing all that, just like the, oh, look at that, the big blue blur just happening all over the stage, trying to find some way to counteract that. Torres is going to just wait in front of the other side. Remember, he doesn't necessarily have to approach. He does have the percentage lead. Uh, there is a timer, though. I mean, I, I, I don't know how this one's going to work. Oh, very good with that perfect parry. Finally gets some kind of opening right here. Oh, unfortunately, released the Phantom Armor just a little bit too late. Trying to get the timing right there. But George gets a little bit... Hey, that, okay, he could have fallen to something pretty violent there. But was able to get out of the way of that. But the platform did save him right there. But it could have been a little bit of a mix-up on recovery. Right there, Torres, though, I want to point out the fact that that was a very smart recovery that he did. He did an up B right there, which you feel would be random at any opportunity. But he did do so to get out of the way of that Phantom Armor, making sure not to go and succumb to that. Oh, really nice pressure right there with the neutral B onto the shield. That shield stun and pushing him away a little bit, unfortunately, did block the shield grab for Torres, who now will finally, well, does find the answer right here to claim that first lock. And now here we go. We're at 14 11. Let me just update the scores for you all. trying to get this going i like to i like to get them done at the same time you know what i'm saying still with the three stock lead right now i mean we're gonna see gg george gonna be able to at least try to keep a hold of that very nice recovery to slap snap onto the ledge right there but torres is not gonna go ahead and play around with that instead he does back off a little bit try to get some better spacing does get the read right there with the shield onto the ledge and once more the phantom armor he does have to up e and he does make it with the air dodge mechanic always forget about that but never mind that as gg george is gonna get that big read right there from the roll on the ledge get the forward smash and claim that stock right now torres though on his last stock remember this match is definitely not over till it's over right here He's gonna be trying to find a way to put an end to this stock and then move on to the next george trying for his crew to be able to carry this team right there on his shoulders gets runs right into that forward smash but it does able to live it because unfortunately it was from the other side 
Get up attack is going to be successful. 32%. GG Georgia is keeping his space right here. Does not want to go and get hit by anything unnecessary at the moment. Does up B right straight away. And Torres does recognize that. Did go for that back here. But it's not going to connect for that kill. Really good to, to, for the attempt right there to get that forward smash on the landing. A B, aggressive up B coming in there. Taurus did not see that one coming. Almost gets the punish right there on the landing. No lag though. And another aggressive up B. Taurus not understanding what why Zelda's doing that. But it is working super well for George. Very nice recovery once more. But this time around, it's going to be Taurus who's going to get the read on that roll from the ledge. And the forward smash coming in there very successfully. We got ourselves still a three stock lead and now this is a very very pivotal moment right now for both crews if George can continue to cause more pressure for a ng crew uh you know obviously it's going to be a very incredible lead torres though wants to put away this pesky zelda right now and does have the opportunity to do so george trying to get the punish right there with the up air Torres though finally starting to get some momentum going for him. He's starting to at least get the, the habits right there. Almost trying to get the follow-up. And we're going to see it back here. No, George is going to live it. George grabs onto the ledge. 101% though. It's starting to get a little bit scary. He expected another roll right there. And that up B coming in there just a little bit too predictably. And Torres was able to see right through it. Another backer reading the fact that he was going to go for that phantom armor. And now it's George's turn to try to get the reads that he would like. Try to go for the forward smash and the up smash to try to get the punish. Just cannot keep up with Sonic with the Phantom Armor. Still not going to be the kill. George trying to get the read. The downer comes in. Both of them just going everywhere. And that's going to be it. What a cross up. And another up B to get to the other side of the stage. Another up B again. These guys are just finding all the necessary reads. But unfortunately, they're just not being able to connect with either of them. Oh my god! Is this gonna be enough? And that's gonna be it! And George is able to once again win two matches. And so far it takes six stops in this crew battle. What the oh my god, it's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, what a turn of events. Do you remember guys? Do you remember? There was a Zelda player who was just steamrolling this team just last week. And now this time around, it's going to be the other way. <laughs> Our very own Zelda is going to be, <laughs> you know, <laughs> George with all the Sonic hate, my dude. This is the AMG Gaming sir, uh, Twitch channel, so I can't really give my personal opinions about Sonic. But let's just say <laughs> I'm not necessarily that favorable either. But, you know, we'll keep that for another time. <laughs> Wow, George, I can't, I can't condone and say any of that, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, yo, yo, Sonic Fox's costume would be looking like Sonic low-key, I'm just saying. So right now, Dark Strikers, although being such a formidable crew, has only been able to take two stocks right now from GG George. And in return, have succumbed to six stocks so far. That last stock was, was ramping up quite a lot though. I mean, you saw how close it started getting. It was starting to get a little bit scary for all, all these players. That set though, man. Oh man, that match, sorry. That match right there though between Taro and, and GG George. You know, that just showed like how close that was. Like, he was a very good player. Very solid Sonic. You know, you just don't... If you don't know how to compete against a Sonic, it really starts to get to you. Alright, how is everybody be doing? You guys know that CGL7 is happening right now. Gigantic fat prize pool right here. Uh, but, you know, we're going to be raiding our boys after this event, though. Don't worry about it, man. Right after the crew battle, you know, when GG George goes 15-0. Okay, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. I <laughs> know. This match is far from over. Remember, Dark Strikers still got three more members, and they have such an exceptional roster. So, I mean, if any of the really strong players come in, especially when Seba starts to show up to the stage, that's going to be very problematic. We do have some secret weapons of our own, though. There are not all the players were showcased last week. Just please recall that we still got some other players going. There are two members who are going to be playing today, who did not get the chance last time. So just keep that one in mind.
Uh, what's going on here? So, yeah, we're just kind of waiting at the moment. I uh, don't know. We haven't had a response just yet. 13 0. Yo. <laughs> That's a lot to ask for, for, for George, but that was very, so far been a very phenomenal performance. If he can get two more stocks, he actually matches Krebs' performance from last week. So that's going to be kind of crazy. We'll see how that works. But man, you know, this is one of those things like, bro, you always need a son. I mean, you always need a Zelda. It seems like every clan needs, needs a Zelda. You got to have one Zelda with you. <laughs> We're just awaiting. Looks like they're trying to find a third homie. We're going to see what's going on. Right, they're just asking for the arena. I wouldn't get in there. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Sorry, getting our third. Oh, the warm up is from uh, Dark Strikers. What's up? What's up? Didn't know, man. Yeah, obviously, I know you. I, I understood that you guys had to like discuss. You know, I understand that there was like some discussion going on. Maybe that's that, that's why there was some bit of a time frame right there. I'm gonna change my ult. This one expired. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The superpowers from it went away. Is, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Uh, going Green Zelda now. <laughs> all right, all right. Yo, Green Zelda. I haven't seen you go Green Zelda in a long time. Um, okay, George, go take a look in the arena. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ping you. But they're asking. They're asking what stage you want to go. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Oh, never mind. Okay. So we got the third homie here. Oh, they're going. All right, all right, all right. Let's get it going. I see, I see. Landy, you enjoying the action right now? Trying to root for your homies here at ANG Crew. George off to a very strong start right now for the crew. Taking two members down and still has one stock remaining. So, uh, just remember, George, you have to SD twice at the beginning of this match, all right? Just keep that in mind. You got to SD twice. Just reminding you, because I know sometimes you might forget, and you'll, you go straight into the action, and you're just like, oh, oops. And I, oh, you know, you don't want that to happen, so. You got to SD twice, but whoa, okay. We're going to be getting a very interesting pick. Now, here's where it starts, some things kind of factor in. I think when I was looking very, like, very quickly, I was glancing over the patch notes, and uh, I noticed that I think Pit got a lot of buffs, right? I'm not like, I, I don't really understand. I didn't get to look too much in depth to it. But yo, we're going to see, man. Considering that the patch just happened, just dropped yesterday. We're going to see how much of an effect it's going to start in this match. Here we go, guys. All right. So the goal for George right here, he pretty much essentially needs to get another tree stock to even try to survive this match snapback just needs to find a way to end this one stock right here just this one stock to hopefully bring some hope right now for his team to get some kind of resurgence going at the moment already we're starting to see a lot of strong moves coming out there snapback he's doing such a great job and there you go gg george's upbeat is gonna land onto the stage but snapback quickly gonna respond right there with the down smash and almost caught the stock right there but yet again Ferrer's win is gonna be pulling in very clutch for him very nice match to get out of that out of that throw Good reflector right there to push away the phantom armor. George trying to get double up there right there. But it's going to go down right here very, very quickly. And that's going to be it for GG George putting a stop right there at six stocks. But wow, what a performance to come out there from GG George to start this off. But here we go. Snapback is going to bring it very close right now for Dark Strikers. Being able to get the stock without losing one. 
And yeah, that was really fast. I think, you know, it's one of those things, man. We saw like a very interesting character pick come out. You're not aware of what the hell this character is. <laughs> That's definitely going to impact you, homie. <laughs> now it is time for the ANG crew to discuss what's going to be coming next. All right, so right now they're just discussing what's going on. Obviously, you know, both crews got to discuss some strategy. Be like, oh, okay, you know, character choice or or, or play style. What they're going to be trying to get some counters for. They're looking at it right here. And then they're going to respond right there in the crew battle server. <laughs> Lanny, disappointed to see George go down that fast. But hey, man, that's how, that's how it be. I'm sure, like... Dark Stalkers were like, guys, how could you lose six stocks to a Zelda, right? So it, th these things do happen. And hey, while we're waiting, some good news for George. Yo, I started. I was watching One Piece again today, so I watched a couple more. I I think when I get when I finish the Al Alabasta uh, arc, I'm gonna put a pause to One Piece for a bit and then go back to Naruto. Just want to give you a little update, just quick update. Okay, so I see what we're gonna be going with. I won't mention it just in case if that's not the final final pick But it looks like we're gonna be getting another very strong member of our team. So it's gonna be a something to look forward to Yeah, man, I know Lanny like Naruto still, you know, Naruto still okay. I can't I can't go off topic, but But I mean while we're waiting while we're waiting. Yeah, yeah you know Naruto still stands as my favorite anime so far, but Yo, don't worry. I'm going to stream later on. We'll talk about it. When I stream on my account, we'll talk about it later. But at the moment, though, whoo, we're here for Smash Bros. Ultimate. ANG crew trying to fight for a first victory in this crew battle server. And then we got Dark Strikers, which is another strong team. You know, the thing is about for us, we're, we're obviously, a, you know, new crew on, on the market. And we have all these teams that come out. And the people that have challenges right away are just kind of like, you know, I'm sure they're looking for easy points, right? So... We had Euphoria from last week. They were a very strong, um, really strong team. And then we're seeing Dark Stalkers, which is another strong team too, right? But I, we weren't necessarily aware of it, so. But here we go, guys, into the second match. We're going to get speed on speed right now. Johnny Santa is a very strong member of our crew. He's going to be going in here second for this team. Now, it's going to be very difficult because, you know, right here is going to be a very pivotal moment. If if Johnny San is going to be able to clutch out this this match right here, that's going to still put ANG in a very good position, leaving two members left for uh, for Dark Strikers. But conversely, if Snapback finds a way to win this match, it's going to be a very key moment for them to get the run back right here, get some get the comeback counter going. Good grab right there, and good try to follow up, trying to get a ladder. He went for a jab instead, maybe trying to read for an air dodge to come out from uh, from uh, Snapback. No upbeat just yet because obviously it's a very, very dangerous and that's one of those things. Sometimes in a crew battle, you have to play a little bit differently than you play when it's simply like a 1v1, you know, in a tournament base or friendlies. Side B is going to be coming in there. Clutch for Snapback as he's going to go and take this stock right there from um, the NG crew. But just like that, johnny San is going to respond super quickly with his own kill. And right there, we're going to bring the score down to 11 to 8. All right, Giants, I'm trying to get some edge guards going, but no, Snapback is doing such a fantastic job of grabbing onto the ledge, finding his way back on, and he's starting to get it. The LP coming in there. What, what is the ladder kill from the top? Hype moment right there for Johnny San. Time to get some GG emotes right here. Really good stuff for. And he's only at 47%, so he's actually going to be able to maybe, possibly, bring this down even lower. Mad hype right now. Mad hype. And we're going to see, though, Johnny Sun, unfortunately, is going to be going down. But ANG is still on their double-digit stocks right now. We're going to see, are they going to be able to maintain a very incredible lead? 
the, the lead was at six stocks do keep that in mind it's starting to it's starting to go a little bit down right here giant song needs to try to get this win right here make sure to keep the momentum and lead for his team really nice baits coming out there from snapback with the jab use right there trying to bait out some kind of smash attack or something from giant son to make sure he's going to be wasting oh really good stuff there trying to go for the dunk on the read dash attack hitbox is going to be coming in clutch though does get that fire fireball no no kill off of that and he tried to go for a charge up smash that's the thing about pit man those smash attacks are super quick Not going to be enough. Nowhere near enough right here. And Snapback doing a great job making it back onto the stage. The side B comes out. Both of them went for the kills right there. Very surprising right now that Mario did not succumb to that. And right there the jab with the second hit hitbox. Oh, but side B once more is going to be doing it. And now it's starting to get a little bit scary as Dark Stalkers or Striker. I keep saying Dark Stalkers, man. <laughs> it's that fighting game, dude. Dark Strikers is going to bring this really close now. Starting to get a little bit scary as they're both going to be here. Entering on to the third fighter. Snapback will have to SD twice though in the next match. Oof, that was close stuff, man. Plot twist. I'm next. I play. No, I'm kidding. No way. So while we wait, you know, a snapback obviously heading back right there into the menu. Just to make sure in case his opponent from the ANG crew is going to be trying to decide to maybe change the stage. He obviously has to change it in accordance. So, I mean, we're going to see how it goes. Yo, Pit, like not a lot of people know about Pit. It's really difficult to deal with, man. How often do you see Pit, right? Yo, I had a lot of hype for Johnny, man. It's unfortunate, but it be what it be. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're looking forward to, you know, the next member. I don't know if it's like certain yet. I won't mention anything. But it's it's definitely a crowd favorite, yo. I know it's a crowd favorite for a lot of people. I'm gonna be coming up soon. <laughs> Remember that both teams only have three people left. Only three people left on both teams. Right now, it is very important for that the third member of AG crew right here needs to make sure, try to ensure if they want to keep that momentum and lead. Needs to try to make sure not to lose the stock. And keep a full three stocks ahead of these dark dark strikers, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be intense. You see it, boys, right there in front of you. Another crowd favorite gonna be coming in here. It's gonna be Cytonix from the AMG crew, rocking a very weird character themselves. You see, that's the thing, man. The, the, the Dark Strikers got it. They got a pit. Definitely got a pit. Definitely throws some people off. But man, how often do you know Ken? That's the thing. You know the matchup as well. So right here, Snapback needs to go and SD twice and get this match going. So Cytonix right here, fresh. Three stocks, 0%. Snapback on his last. It's going to be a very important moment. And there we go. They're going to get it going. They got the taunts coming out. The movement's coming here. Missing with that neutral air, but the side B is going to connect. And we got some big combos already start. 29%. Still not enough, but he got nice with the Hadouken right there. Very good read. So far doing great damage. So far, that Shoryu is going to be a very good anti-air for Snapback's approach. Good string return from Snapback right there. Very explosive stuff. And all of these combos and the pressure right there from the down throws have already evened out all the damage. And there's another Shoryu. And it is a bit stale though, but the next one might be the one. So you got to be very, very careful. 
Misses on the up B. Tried to go with that neutral, but that smash attack might be, you know, not going to be enough just yet. Saitans does get back onto the ledge, though. And very good bait for Snapback being able to go ahead with the push away right there and get the grab. Snapback right here just looking for extra credit as he's already claimed four stocks in this crew battle. Saitans doing a great job of the DI to live that. And remember, like I said, we got here Snapback trying to reverse the damage that GG George has done. Try to go with the side B, gets the back throw. Remember, there's only about like two. There are some, some good kill confirms for Cam, but they're very hard to nail. There you go, and that's gonna be it. Cytonics is gonna clutch it out right here for his crew. And we got ourselves a 9 to 6 score, keeping at least one player advantage right here going into the next match. Yo, that, that was that was close, man. That, that was that was tight, bro. Oh man, it's like Tonks Ken, bro. Woo! Mad clutch right now. Mad clutch, boys. Oh damn. Yo, that's hype. Y'all know that's hype, bro. Damn. Pick coming in here with that, you know, with that MU CP. And now we got ourselves our own MU. So we're gonna see. Oh man, that was clean, yo. It's always fun to see Cytonics in action though. So remember that there's gonna be two more homies left right now for Dark Strikers with six stocks. AG crew with three members, but you never know, right there. Snapback did a fantastic job being able to take out four stocks. He was the one that put George's uh, you know tyranny to an end, and that was very important. But Cytonics did exactly what Snapback did for his team, being able to ensure that th the, that opponent was not gonna be going running rampant and taking even more stocks than they need to. Yo, mad hype though, mad hype. Yo, look at George right there, man. George, I know George watching right now with some hype right now. <laughs> Damn, bro. Let's see if the crew are, are is the crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they gassing, they gassing them up. They gassing them. Up. They on the NBC. You gotta gas up your homies, dude. <laughs> This crew battle starting to dwindle down though, as we do have three members to two members. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be some mad hype coming up. While we have you guys waiting right here, don't forget that tomorrow is Rocket League. Yes, tomorrow our first Rocket League tournament is gonna be happening. I'm not gonna be the one streaming it. We actually do have a dedicated Rocket League streamer. So, you know, shout outs to Mr. Kyle's right there, making sure ensuring that we had every single piece that we needed to run these tournaments. It's very, very impressive. I just want to give him a shout out for all the great work he's done so far. Tomorrow is gonna be our first one. You know, it probably will be small, but that's okay. That's the start of everything, man. We know our first our first raid out of Smashville had less than 30 people, dude. It was like 28 people. And even with those 28, there were still DQs. So literally, it was like 18 people who actually played. So, and look what it's become, right? Next week will be Pokemon. So that's going to be hype as well. I'm really looking forward to that one because we actually have a lot of like Poke Freaks, man. We got some people who really know their stuff. They're like actually like got their teams made and everything. They're ready for it. So that's going to be a really interesting. Yeah, we're just we're just waiting at the moment, homies. We're just waiting. So we finally getting to see some Ken action here on stream. This is the first time that Cytonics is able to come in here. I mean, this is our second crew battle only. We do actually have another one on Saturday. At 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know. I don't think that one will be streamed. I'll see if I can find a way for it to get streamed. If not, you know, I mean, I will at least guarantee everybody, the crew and like the fans and whatnot, the community, I will ensure that at least one crew battle gets streamed a week. At, at least one I can try to get going. Oh, 
Alrighty, so it looks like they've finally been able to pick their next homie that's going to be coming in. I actually, you know what's funny? Because like, yes, obviously, you know, Angie Crew, they're in a server. I should know better. But I actually don't even know who are going to be the last two people who are going to be playing for, uh, for the crew, right? Don't know, so... It's a surprise to me. I did know the, the three so far that you guys saw. You saw GG George, you saw um, Johnny, and then you saw just right now Cytonics being able to claim at least one stock. If he claims at least two, that's actually going to be, you know, he's going to at least finish even. Right here, the next two members essentially just have to finish even and they'll be able to, you know, they'll get the win. If you go at least even, you'll get the win. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Or even if each member claims two stocks, but you know, you don't want to let your last member have that much, you know, a lot of stress on them. Whoever's going to be anchor is going to have a lot of pressure. So we're going to see who that's going to be. I don't know who the next two members are going to be. So it's really interesting. So it looks like we're about to gear in for it. They're in the arena, going to be coming in. They'll be opting for Pokemon Stadium 2. Alright, homies, don't forget. Remember, so we don't have a straight ass smash for this Sunday. It's going to be Evo. So that's going to be super duper hype. But we are going to be returning for sure next Sunday. You know how it be. The next few Sundays are going to be stacked. We're also going to be having our own monthly going to be coming up too. Uh, just trying to finalize some details for it. But, uh, you know, we're going to be getting that going too. And did I just see a hero? That's allowed? Whoo! That one's going to be difficult. I mean, I guess there's no rules on that. But that's going to be... Uh... Oy. It's going to be... Let's go. So both of these homies, they do not have to go in SD. They can play off the bat right away. So we're going to see being seen in silver here. This is the first bit of like, you know, hero gameplay I've seen at least from like a normal person. I've seen just a couple of just Parappa's videos on this character. I have not seen much on it. I did hear something about a Gimmer. Oh, what a combo. Uh, a, a Gimmer combo that came out for hero that took really, really good. So I don't know about that. But right there, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I thought this character didn't have no down throw combos. What was that? Look at that. Who big fireball going to be hidden. And Cytonix is going to be able to live it. But whoa, very, very good edge guard coming in there. But still able to grab the ledge. I don't know if Cytonic was able to have some opportunity to play with Hero or against Hero to get some kind of matchup knowledge right now. But Silver doing a great, great job to be picking a character that people are not going to be familiar with. Sure, you is successful. Gets onto the ledge. We got ourselves a big spell. Not going to be able to get the kill with it though. But 70% only is proving to be a very good pick so far. He tried to get the sure you, but he's going to hit a grab instead. And we got snooze hitting. Nope, it's not going to connect. But that would have been a free kill. Really nice right there to get that nice little empty empty grab. And now we're going to be seeing some oomph being hit. Which I think means that every move is going to be able to hit really, really hard. And just like that, Silver is going to be claiming the first stock of this match. It is not over till it's over. Those Titanic still got himself his next two. The score is dwindling down very, very close right now. They're only at 8-6 at the moment. Dark Strikers have been doing a great job of keeping this match at least as evenly as much as possible. Oh, trying to go over to Shore Union's and eat up smash instead. Tried to go right there to get that up tilt that he needed. Gets the Shore Union. This time, being able to connect with it is going to go ahead and even out the stocks. Two stocks each. It's going to be getting a little bit scary right now. This next one is going to be super important. I gotta say, it's very impressive right now for Silver to be pulling out a hero this early into this. Like, it's a double-edged sword because one, you're gonna be able to get a very nice matchup mix-up because people are not gonna be necessarily aware of how to fight this character. But at the same time, how much do you know about how to use your own character? So it's gonna be very interesting to see how it's played out. Right now though, Silver is doing a great job being able to at least, uh, you know, Hero's neutral, maybe a little bit more on the weaker side compared to some other characters, but he's been doing a great job being able to land a lot of the normals and not necessarily only rely on any of these specials. 
All right, he got himself a spell ready. Nope, not going to go utilize it instead. Very good footsies, though. Being able to utilize a very slow walk speed of Hero. Very nice mix-up right there with the B-reverse Kaboom. I think that was a Kaboom. And he's able to land that. And now, just like that, Dark Striker's bringing it down to two stocks yet again. This crew battle is ramping up. It's getting really close. Oh, nice string put together right now. 86% right there quickly. And we got saw, I think that was a Shory that came out frame one, but it's not going to get the kill as it did trade it instead. Yo, bro, 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 bro. Hero has combos? Come on. Oh, really nice with the focus attack. That Yo, what's that? FADC? I don't know what you guys call it in Smash. But I know it's an FADC in uh, an actual Street Fighter. Tried to go for the combo to connect, and that's going to be connected. But no, unfortunately, misses on that forward tilt to get the kill there. And he goes for the wake up sure you, but it doesn't kill. That's actually quite a surprising move, I got to say. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was no zoom to make it back onto stage for free. And it looks like right here, Saitong's at least did bring this back right there to one stock apiece. This is starting to get scary right now. Silver right here has a very good chance to bring this very close to the team. Unfortunately, he missed on that upbeat combo that probably would have been on the trick. He avoids that smash attack or whatever the hell that was. Remember, he's super strong at the moment. Any big... KO move will kill right now. Psych up is finally done, but that shield is looking really small. So we gotta see Saitan. What a very nice transition there, clutching it out as Dark Strikers is gonna go down to their last member. Oh, what hype, bruh. Oh, damn. Saitan's A is gonna be claiming four stocks. Yo, crazy, bruh. Yo, did you guys see that? Oh my god, that was such a nice. I think it was neutral air. And then immediately dashes forward to get the up B. Wow, that was beautiful. And now Dark Strikers down to their last player. Ah, uh, complain about lag. I don't know, bro. I don't know. <laughs> okay, EU player. <laughs> okay, I can't say it's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's true. If you're a European player and you're playing like a kind of like predominantly North American scene, you know, lag lag will happen, right? Unfortunately, this. I mean, I have played with some players from like Europe, and the connection is pretty nice, right? You like you could feel a bit of the latency, but you know that the connection is still pretty solid. It does happen. You always have to keep that in mind, you know? But Dark Strikers down to the last player. This is going to be a very, very good victory if ANG Crew could be able to clutch this one out. Now, who is going to be the anchor for Dark Strikers? Will it be the notorious Game & Watch? And will Saitong be able to claim yet another stock before going down? At the moment, he has claimed four. GG George still remains as the MVP with six. Yo, man, it's great to see Saitong's in action, though. So we're going to see. <laughs> Prince of Thieves with this. Nah, I'm just here to talk shit. <laughs> Uh, I love the responses. I, you know, so far it's been pretty good. Um, some pretty good interactions so far with crews. No Omega Salt from either end. Nobody's been like yelling or mad tilting. I gotta say, so far for the crew, you know, they've been very, very good in temperament. So obviously it's super important they got one member left and you know like it's not over right we have seen like we've seen with our own eyes a player who took out eight stocks last week eight stocks so you cannot count it out you cannot count it out 
Oh, damn. It is gonna be the notorious, infamous, super strong Game & Watch player, Sebae, is gonna be next. That's scary, man. That's gonna be scary. Obviously, you want to keep an anchor player for these kind of moments. You want to keep the player who has the potential to be able to take out this many stocks. Okay, it's gonna get scary up in here, homies, as we're gonna be heading into... Oh, yeah. All the Game Watch versus Ken stock can disappear real fast for him, but... Oh, like, okay, I, I see what you're saying, where Game & Watch's stocks can go really fast up against the Ken, but, you know, at the same time, you've seen how Sebae's been playing. He's been playing phenomenal. I mean, we've tried to... We, I ain't gonna lie. We saw how good he was. So we try to we try to recruit him, and then he's like, "No, I'm on Dark Strikers." I don't know why I didn't hit me until now. I'll be like, "Yo, this is the crew." Oh, damn. Oops. Well, here we go. So he found himself a super strong team, and here we, he's gonna be trying to be able to clutch it out for the crew. He's got seven stocks ahead of him to take out. But Cytonics, obviously, you know, his job's not done. He wants to take out as many as he possibly can himself. If possible, he will take out all three. But Sebae is going to be putting a lot of pressure right there with the fishbowl. You know, we are no strangers to him. We have seen him perform already in three straight out of Smash Bros. And he's done such a great job in all of them. Try to finish it off with that down, the, that down smash, but it's not going to hit. Up be out of shield to get him out of trouble. He does not want to go ahead and succumb to any of those pressures with that sure you can. Titan does a great job making it back onto the stage. He tried to go for the up smash. And what a great DI to be able to live that stock. Seba is not going to make it easy. He does not want to lose a stock right here. He understands how important each of those three stocks of his are. It is the last for his crew. Very good reverse air rush right there to be able to connect to that very nice back for a good punish. But no, unfortunately, Seba isn't making it back onto stage for free. And now Saitan's trying to find room right there. But oh, but the down smash is going to do the trick. But let's, let's just commend how strong of a performance that was from Saitans doing such a great job for his team, being able to take out four stocks and, you know, very, very important stocks too. They're, they're like the pivotal moments in between uh, the transition of players. So he did a great job there. And so we definitely got to give him a shout out for that. But once again, you know, no stock taken out. That's going to be super important for Seba right here as he's going to be awaiting for the second last member of a &G crew. And if there's any player, um, you know, if there's any player who's going to be able to take them all, all, all out, it's the person we see right in front of us. Dark Falcon. None of our members are good here. Are you sure? I don't know what you're saying, my dude. <laughs> you guys got Seba. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that that right there. You can't have such a good player and be such a bad crew. That, that can't be. That can't be. So... But here we wait. We're going to be waiting for now AG crew to decide who's going to be the next few members right now. They only got two more options available and I do not know who the last two are. In fact, I don't know. So it's going to be quite a big surprise to see who we're going to be ending up to the pick. So <laughs> I wish went to double check the the chat. Hatred <laughs> is hilarious, man. Funny thing is, Randall won the last and he is also bruh bruh sub zero bruh well yeah but you know the thing is i didn't know that's ridiculous you guys have a ridiculous crew so i don't know what you guys are talking about oh thank you so much there for the fall there it's gonna be king king the mac king d mac i don't know 